Hey guys, it's me, Lego Matt 19 Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Lego City 2015 60083 Snowplow Truck. It comes with 196 pieces and it costs about $20 in the US. So anyways, let's get on to the review. The set comes with one minifigure and the Snowplow Truck. We're going to take a look at the minifigure first. Here's the minifigure. Uh, there's really not a whole ton to him, but he does have a blue, the new, uh, the somewhat new style baseball cap, and then he's got the face with the protective glasses and the beard, the uh, mechanics uniform, the blue jacket, un blue jacket with the uh, orange stripes, and uh, dark pant, dark darkish uh, blue pants. And there's no printing on the back. Now we're gonna take a look at the snowplow truck itself. And I must say, I was really looking forward to this one. This is the first time that LEGO has actually made a snowplow. And it's really cool, as you can tell. This truck is just really cool, built differently than most of the others. And uh, to start off, we'll take a look at, we'll take a look at the uh, actual snowplow itself. So here's the actual snowplow itself. And uh, it's pretty cool. This is definitely something that I think would be pretty hard to make if you uh, made it custom made. But... Lego did a really good job on doing it. It's pretty cool. You got your headlights right here on the side. You got your protective, your uh, caution, caution stickers right there, and then you got the little hook piece for the truck to connect to the snowplow. And then there's really nothing else, but it's pretty cool. And this piece can actually go up and down. So basically, when you're done, you can put it down, and it just looks really cool. So yeah, it's a pretty cool piece. And here's the truck. And this is a really cool truck. Uh, a lot of detail into this truck. And if we take a look at the front, you have a uh, snowflake on it. That's supposed to be the logo of the truck. Head extra headlights on top. The side view mirrors that can move. You got your uh, headlights over here. Turn signals. More caution stickers. And then you got the license plate. HA 60083. It's a license plate number. And you got that little piece right here to hook on to the snowplow right over here and if you look these tires on the truck are really cool they're meant for off-road and stuff like that and they're also meant for the snow so this truck's built to almost handle anything and stuff like that uh... if you look on the side here you got a broom attached to if i'm correct if i'm correct it's the fuel tank because the uh, sticker really looks like a fuel tank so i really like how they uh... made the sticker to make it look like it's a fuel tank because the other trucks have fuel tanks and at least I think they do. It's just they, you know, they they're not as obvious really. And uh, here's the other one. You got the uh, shovel on on the side of there. Now, uh, if we take a look on the inside, well, uh, the doors do open by the way, on both sides. It's pretty obvious. Uh, take a look on the inside. There's really not much but a steering wheel and a coffee mug, and you got your uh, I don't know which uh, smokestacks I guess. Now the roof for the truck I got more caution lights and the truck has to have a lot of lights because usually you'll see snow plows working at night a lot so you know that's why they're built with a lot of lights to uh, warn people that they're coming through pretty much and so yeah. Now the back is pretty cool because we have this uh, piece right here which is basically where the salt comes out and what I really love is that if you move the truck that piece moves and if you can see that right there the piece moves along with the truck that's just really cool I think Lego did a really good really good job on doing that uh, you got your little arrow pointing there that's supposed to indicate that there's salt coming out you got your head you know your tail lights and stuff like that more caution stickers right there and you got the uh, dump part of the truck I don't know what you want to call it but it's basically the dumpster part where it holds all the salt and stuff like that in fact uh, you get 15 of these uh, don't know what you want to call them now. These are like small little tile pieces and stuff like that. Right over here, you can see my hand. Uh, you get a lot of these actually. You get 15 total of these, uh, white pieces which are supposed to represent snow. But they could also represent, they can also represent salt. And you could put them right in the back of the truck if you want to. And so pretty much that could be a place to store them. And those could represent and those pieces could represent salt pretty much. 
And you could uh, you could pretend having them coming out of the uh, place where the salt comes out. And so yeah, it's pretty cool. And yeah, the truck itself uh, is pretty cool. Now, the truck, uh, this piece can come off the truck, and so you can have that piece and the snowplow piece just sitting somewhere while the truck can leave. And so it just looks like a kind of a regular truck, though a uh, heavy duty kind of truck though. So yeah, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool vehicle. So these pieces could also represent snow, and pretty much, here's the fun part, you basically put your snow plow in the truck, and then you bring your truck over here, and it scoops all the snow right away. That's pretty cool. However, when you do uh, try and uh, scoop up the uh, snow pieces, you have to do it on a smooth surface, like on here I have my glass table, and uh, I actually had the base plate here, but the truck apparently can't shovel any of the snow when it's on a base plate so you need to have it on smooth surface so that way you can uh, plow the snow without a problem so here are my thoughts and uh... and my rating for this set for my rating i give a solid ten out of ten i would highly recommend this set uh... my thoughts on it it's a really cool new idea that we never had before uh... lego did a really good job on it and i think that this is probably uh, one of my I think one of everyone's favorite out of the great vehicle theme I would highly recommend again I would highly recommend this set uh, the price is about twenty dollars that's pretty good compared to all the other sets I've noticed that they've really been charging us a lot more lately like what normally should be like a say the list set uh, this price fits uh, the price for this set fits it perfectly but other Lego C sets specifically I've noticed in the past year They've been raising the price up a lot. Um, uh, I can't. I can't remember all of them, but I do know that they have done this in the past. But this set specifically, the price on this set, there's no problem, and I would highly recommend getting it. Uh, now, the only complaint I have is that uh, you see here a ton of a ton of the uh, gray base plates, and yes, you can uh, plow the tile pieces on here, but they're gonna go kind of flying all over the place because. The truck gets a little stuck because it'll notice that the pieces go under the snow pile. And when they do, that means you're going to have slight trouble moving the truck a little bit. And, you know, that that's like the only complaint I really have. Other than that, uh, if, you, if you run it on smooth surface, it'll work fine. So, other than that, I give it a 10 out of 10. I highly recommend it. And that's really about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.